Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good day again everyone Today we will be discussing about Theorem number 11 Okay, Theorem number 11 by definition me, uh, states that the perpendicular bisector of a three inter of the three intervals between three non-collinear points in a circle has the center as the point of concurrency. So, ibig sabihin lang nito, guys, would be um uh, based on the figure. You will have a circle and you will have three points, okay? And what we need with those three points is we need to find uh, we need to connect them together, creating these three intervals. Atong ating um segment AB, segment BC, and we have segment AC. Okay, so after we have those uh, specific intervals, ang, ang mangyari na lang dito would be each intervals or I mean each segments, we need to find the perpendicular bisector. And after we find the perpendicular bisector, we will assume that the con point of concurrency or the meeting point or the, we call this, um, yeah, the point of intersection of our three perpendicular bisector would mean that would be the center of our circle so let's try making that one say uh, we go to our geogebra okay and we will create a circle with the point in the center zero zero pero of course it's not defined na ayan so we'll hide this one okay so we hide that we will hide that object okay so we do not know the center uh, let, let me just hide this end. We do not know the center, and I will hide everything else as well. Um, the grid and then the axis. Yeah. With, in this circle, it's the center is not shown. Okay, we assume that the center is not shown. And based on the theorem itself, it said that you will need uh, three points in the circle. And of course, you will just simply connect the following points. Okay, after you have connected the following points, is you need to find again you need to find the perpendicular bisector of that line so in this case the cd uh, of course the, we are using geogebra it's very easy to find the perpendicular bisector perpendicular bisector of this line cb and another perpendicular bisector okay so having these points here okay and sabi daw dyan, you will see there's a meeting point a common point here on the um somewhere here in the circle okay and we will label that as our point e Okay, but now let's try to show what is the center of this circle kaya. And wait lang ah. So yan. Where's point A? Okay. Let me just um it's, it's blocking kasi. Yan. So let's just remove point E first. Let's remove point E. Yan. Oops, sorry. Yeah, let's remove point E and let's show the center of the circle. You will see that point E is the same as point A. Being kasi itong point A, by definition kanina, ito yung center ng circle. And we have shown this one. What we just did is we hid the object itself. And then of course, we took the point E as the uh, intersection, which is of course, it's the same. So even if I will move these points, yan, you will notice na kahit lumagpas yan, the perpendicular bisector would always be the um, uh, the point of concurrency of the perpendicular bisector would always pass through the center whatever figure I make long as I have this uh, three points whatever figure I will make like say we have an right triangle or this and that or isosceles triangle or of course any fig uh, any three-sided figure okay you will notice that the center would still be the same or the center is the point of concurrency of our um, given perpendicular bisector so again what is the implication of this one if you will see or uh, the implication of this one is if you want to find the center of any given um, circle if you want to find the center of any given circle is it's very simple create three points yan, create three points connect those points and find the per perpendicular bisector. Of course, if you are doing this in real time, so katin nyo lang yung measure ng inyong segment and then mark the mid midpoint and then just create a perpendicular line. Ganun lang. Perpendicular bisector. Okay, in this case, um, finding the perpendicular bisector is very easy and therefore 
the point of concurrency is always the center. Okay? So that would be all for our um, discussion for today. Um, if you have any other question, you can consult the video or ask me in our class. Thank you everyone for listening and Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.